day two. Yes, it's very cold. Fucking freezing here. Yes, it is. But today is gonna be a good day. Waiting for this. Oh, come by. Come by. Now we're ready to start the day. Everybody, Masa's favorite shop. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Back to one of my favorite places in all of Japan. Top ranks PDI Center. Sato-san, let's get some nuts. It feels so good. Masa, literally every, every time I get to see the R34, when I come back, it feels like the first time every time. The feeling never gets old. Really? I love it. Every time. Oh. Are you just not gonna prepare me for what you guys have sitting right here? Yeah, that's Oh awesome. my God. Just right off the bat, blowing my mind. And it's not any Hako. Is it a legit GTR? Here you go. That's oh you my God. So Sato worked on like the uh, overhauled the entire three carbs. Oh man, I wish we had Sato in America so he could help us with the carbs on the 280Z. Look, we, he literally has what we have right here. The ignition box. Oh Masa, this thing is amazing. While we're here, do me a huge favor if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Number one, we're so close to 700K. A million subs. This could have been us. One day, one day we'll have a hot go. I know you guys are not gonna miss all of the awesome content we have coming out, not only on this trip, but coming up for the entire year. It feels good to be back. We are finally reunited with the R34 GTR. Like I keep reiterating, this could potentially be the last time that we get to drive this car here in Japan. I don't wanna give it away. You guys will see it at the end of the trip, but it's gonna be awesome. So a couple of things that you guys didn't get to see because I lost all the freaking footage of ours meeting. <laughs> um, so not only did we, are, not only are we installing the hood today, but Sato-san was kind enough and if you guys don't know, I do leave my R34 GTR here in Japan with Top Rank. They're kind enough to help me store the car, maintain it, and overall just make sure the car is safe until it gets imported. So massive thank you. Are you wearing a Top Rank? Massive rank thank you to my boys over at Top Rank for, I mean, the last four years taking such incredible care of my car, which you guys can do as well. But Sato-san was maintaining the car and I actually brought brand new Project Moo rotors for the front with new pads for all four corners. You guys can check in here. I got a super wicked deal on these Project Moo brakes when I was at ours meeting. Yeah, killer deal. And he filmed that thing. Bye. Bye bye. I got a killer deal. Unfortunately, it didn't have the rear rotors, so we, so we couldn't get those. And I am still waiting on those to come in. 
uh, they were out of stock, unfortunately, but we got the front and we got all new pads because we have a special day coming up this trip. I think I've already told you, we're racing on Fuji Speedway. So I had to, ha I had to have this car dialed in and ready to go. Fresh alignment, fresh suspension from Midori Sebi. We got new brakes, I guess like new pads on all four corners and new front rotors, which I needed because the front rotors were bad anyways. And of course, don't forget, you get a fresh new set of RE71 RS from Bridgestone. Yes, exactly. And to top everything off, brand new meaty set of RE71 RS in 275, I yes, think? Yes, 275, 35 RETs. Perfect, so they're beefy, they're yes. juicy. They're more uh, 10, 10 millimeters beefier. Yes, perfect, which is exactly what we're gonna need for our track day at Fuji this time, which is insane that I'm even saying that. That's another bomb that I wanted to drop you guys. We're gonna be actually racing the 34 on Fuji main course. Are you joking me? That's sick. So that's not for a few more days, but we had to get the car ready for that. And to top everything off, the r hood's going on. Yeah, and then remember when, when you drove this car on Fuji, when you first got the it? First time, yeah. But you only could go to like 180K or something not like that. Not even that. Be, not even that, right? Because yeah. it was like a, you know. It was like, like a follow. Yeah, a follow car. But now it's all you. <laughs> you can do whatever shit you want. One thing that I did notice that I really desperately need are new headlight lenses. So to buy a whole new set of headlights is around 7,000 US dollars, six to 7,000 dollars. But you can get replacement lenses, which is something that we desperately need to do before it comes to America. But don't worry, it's, it's fine. Say goodbye to the, the, the Meister R hood. This is like a aftermarket fiberglass hood that they swapped out the OEM one for. I don't know why the previous owner did that, but I mean like it's not a, not a terrible hood, but there's no weight difference. Like. I almost feel like the aluminum stock hood would be like lighter than this one, but I don't know, who knows? Either way, we got the uh, we got the R34 R2 one. Another good look at these brakes down here because they're sick. They're two piece rotors now, instead of the one piece that comes stock. And they just look really nice. And we did club racer pads all around. Which if you guys don't know, the club racer pads are the pads that I use in America when I track my cars. They're oh. very, very good. Really? Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Grant. I got fresh new black ones now. They're not, they're not all faded and like purple looking. Much better. The legend, Sato-san. Hashimuri desu. Hashimuri desu. Kirei desu. Arigatou I am so pumped right now, dude. I couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited for this. You're happy right now. Yeah. I do want to cut this piece off though. Get a razor and cut this Nismo badge off just so I can like keep it for Sure, memory. you can do it. Careful. Careful. It's so beautiful. Oh, so good. That's so sick. All right, R2 hood unboxed. Let's go ahead and hop onto the R34 with Sato-san over here. And we're gonna go ahead and start removing everything off of the car. Sato-san's already breaking free here. No, 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 June, June, mini. 12 millimeter. This is the dream, dude. Work on my 34 in Japan. Installing an R2 hood with Sato-san. Mm -hmm. It actually looks kind of cool with the hood off. <laughs> That's really cool. Fiberglass hood is off. A little comparison between the R2 and hood here. This thing is just so, it's so good. It is so nice. The GTR is about to look insane. Okay. Sounds on. Did you with Jessica? Okay. Okay. So very cool. The Nismo hood came with all of the accessories needed. So instead of using bolts, it comes with actual nuts and nice spacers so your hood can be aligned properly, which is very nice. And even some clips for that guy. Very cool. Always good when you buy very nice high quality parts. This thing is going to fit just like OEM. Uh... Oh, careful, 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 careful. Oh. It's so cool getting to work on the car here with mm -hmm. Sato-san in Japan, this is insane. So even the small little details, just the rubber bumpers for the hood, make such a big difference. That's cool. Our old ones are nasty and crusty and just like literally broke off, I think. Yeah, right here. So now we have brand new OEM ones. Look at 
at you. Look at your smile, bro. I'm so pumped, Masa. Success. It looks, I can't even explain how stoked I am. It looks wicked. It is amazing. Check it out. Three, a two, a one. Watch out! Okay, the the dry hey, get, get back get back get back the dry carbon really brings out how yellow the headlights are one step at a time Okay, now that we have the carbon bonnet whenever I drop it off to Midori Sebi That's when top rank will clear the bonnet and I'll also have them swap out the lenses So next time you guys see the 34 it won't be all ugly But for now the carbon bonnet looks fantastic. I'm so stoked with the R2 hood I mean the fitment the ease of installation the quality of the dry carbon it is fantastic. So we actually used a little bit of the hybrid, the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax on it. Since it's not cleared, it's gonna have kind of like blemishes in the carbon. That's just the manufacturing process. Once they clear it and stuff, Actually, let, let, let's debate in the comments. What do you guys think? We have three options. I can either paint it white, which I do not wanna do, or we could paint it white and leave the, uh, the carbon vents displayed, keep the rest of the hood white, or we can just get the whole thing cleared and leave it full carbon, which I'm leaning more towards, but I do think it would also look super clean with a white hood, leaving the carbon vents exposed. What do you think? You wanna know about Masa opinion, guys? Yeah. Masa opinion is to clear it, you know, all clear, uh -huh. but there's a twist, Masa okay. twist. Have you seen my carbon wing risers? Yeah. It's, it has a hint of blue in it. Yeah. Why not hint the white inside? That would be sick. Let's, let, let's know in the comments. Let's debate on that. What do you guys think? But no matter what, I am like in love. When I tell you guys like this is the passion, the, the dream project, this is it. And this is what it's all about, dude. I modified the car in Japan, building in Japan the way that I want to do it with the parts that I've always dreamed of. Like this is what it's all about. This is what modifying cars is all about. What being a car guy is all about. Saving up and working up towards those parts that you really want. No matter what it is, how big, how small, when you're finally actually able to do it and install it, it's like that that feeling inside you. It's it's just so good. And this is one of those, those moments, those forever moments that'll be embedded in my mind. This is incredible. Jesus, dude. Man, it looks so aggressive. I can't stop staring at it. Oh, it's just like everything that I wanted. Like this angle right here where you can kind of see the vents popping up and then you kind of have the blue project move brake rotors peeking out now. Guys, the Dream R34 GTR is definitely underway. So we are actually all set up and ready to go now. Our tune hood is installed, new brakes are installed, and actually I wanted to show you guys this as well because we got this last time we were here for ours meeting, which of course again, I deleted all the footage on accident. We actually have some Project Moo uh, brake fluid, which I'm gonna actually, there's a little bit left, left over from when Sato-san actually changed the brakes. I'm gonna take this to Fuji with us just in case the brakes start feeling a little squishy. squishy. If you guys don't know, the front straight at Fuji is absolutely insane and like I'm gonna push the car to its limits on that front straight. So I'm very curious to see how the car holds up. We'll see, but we're gonna have a ton of fun. Either way, car ready to go. Oh, let's see. It's not the sign. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Quick pit stop before we actually head out from Top Rank. As you guys know, I left my charger back at home. This is an electronic store that potentially has a charger. We're gonna at least try and see, but something's better than nothing. So cross your fingers. Let's try and get a charger. Yeah. I think we found it. God. We got Sato-san, and we're gonna get some 
curry. My personal favorite meal in Japan. Curry. Clo close second, soba. Go for like a soba. Ah, oh. yeah. yeah. Mm. Look at this, guys. Itadakimasu. Oh, this looks amazing. You're gonna love this stuff. You're gonna love this. Dude, it looks so sick. Oh my god. Oh, it's so pumped. Everything I could have wanted. It looks even better like out in the sunlight outside of the shop. So, made it back from lunch. I think it's time that we head to the Airbnb, take the GTR on its first drive of this trip, and get everything settled in. But the car looks fantastic, dude. I'm pumped. Sick as hell. Very sick. Yes. Starting route to tw first drive in the R34. Okay, really quickly, I want to show you guys this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it looks so freaking cool with the vents popping out of the front right there it's so rad i am in love anyways we're gonna head to the airbnb and like i said get settled in try and do a little bit of work before tonight because i think we are gonna do a shoot tonight which is gonna be awesome and hopefully meet up with some more of the, the squad go get dinner or something i don't know what we're gonna get into tonight but i'm sure it's gonna be awesome so let's head to the new airbnb Okay, well, we made it to the Airbnb, but we have we have a slight issue here. I guess I guess I could figure it out. My parking spot is supposed to be right here, and the entrance to the parking spot is this. It's like a cliff. And I can't get my car up that, so we got to figure this out. Thank God. I mean, I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but like, this is literally driving up a cliff. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to park here for the next few days, but this is actually a pretty sick spot. And I have to say, oh, the r carbon hood on the 34 looks immaculate in front of this house. I could see us buying a house here. Let's check out the Airbnb. Quick house check here. Whoa. The lights in here? Whoa, okay. This is sick. Does that work? Whoa, nice, okay. Got some, whoa, this is sick. It's like a little office with a mop. You got this, dude. This is the sickest Airbnb ever. Let's see. We got our own editing station. What's in here? Dude, perfect. What's right here? Did you guys hear that? Dude, what? We got like a family of eight living here, dude. Let's see. What do we got up here? Whoa, this is so sick. 
Dude, this has gotta be the coolest Airbnb ever. Oh, it's at a, on like a loft thing up, what? Bathroom, shower, cool. Okay, last but not least. Let's go check out what we got up here. Do we have an upstairs dude? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Please don't lock me out. Thank God. Yo, this is so sick. I think best Airbnb so far. Definitely want to buy a house out here. I spent the last hour in the little office area trying to get some work done, editing, and I wanted to come up here for sunset and just soak everything in, man, because this is just... Sometimes this doesn't feel real and I really have to sit back and like take in what we're experiencing because I'm always go, go, go filming. And sometimes, you know, I like to just sit back and really reflect on everything that we're able to do. And it's, today is just one of those days. I say this all the time, but I am damn thankful for you guys and that I get to do this every single day. But uh, let's head back inside. It's freaking freezing out here. Well, obviously, it is uh, much later than the last clip here. We're gonna go grab dinner with Albo and Yushi. I haven't seen them all trip, so it's gonna be very nice to meet up with the boys, grab some dinner. It's gonna be sick. Now, the interesting part here is, how am I gonna get this car out of this driveway? Wish me luck. Amazon! Yo! What's up? Dude, oh, let me help, let me help out. Dude, oh, what's back. up, Alvo? Welcome back, welcome back. What do you think? Oh man, I'm so That's excited. Crazy, right? Like my car and your car, side I know. by side. But it's probably good. Sick, dude. Wow. Look at this thing. Picked up Albo from the train station. He's a regular working man by yep. day. Salary and, man. And Albo media by night. Yep. <laughs> After 7 p.m., this is when YouTube even starts. <laughs> We're heading to uh, Shogun, right? Yeah, Shogun we're gonna head to Shogun. Yep. Okay, I need gas. So is there gas near here? Yeah, 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 very, okay. very, very close. Very so cool. let's head to Shogun first. Let's go. Uh, grab the car and we'll figure out what we're gonna do Oh next. yeah, we're gonna grab the S2K, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. You guys are gonna get a big update on Abu's S2K because a lot has been done. Here she is. Man, this is, this is pro this might be my favorite S2K of all time. No way. Yeah. I, I, okay, this one and Tar I do follow Tarmac Meister on. Yes. Dude, I yes. love his S2K. Yeah. I mean, he, he's the whole reason I got like the fenders for this car. Yeah. His ASM fenders. Dude, this car is so good, Abo. You just don't even understand. Like visually, it really kind of came together, right? Yeah, like once bumper. it came like painted and you got the kit on it, the car, like this is. It's perfect. I love this car. Thank dude. you. Thank you. Thank what's you. what's what's new since last time I saw it? Uh, since last time you saw it, uh, the wheels. So we have like the bronze. Oh, yeah, you C put the CDs back on. Yep. Got the classics. Actually, I never had these on before because I couldn't fit them. Oh, that's right. It's like it was too wide in the front and the back. And you had some beefy. Are these AO fifty twos? Yes. Nice. AO50s. AO50s. Wow, yes, those are the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Track wheels and uh, track tires. Uh, the big change actually is probably the suspension. So I, oh, I saw on your Instagram you have the cups. Uh, yes, the cups, but even better than that is like uh, the Olins have been overhauled to Super Olins. Wow. So it's like a Japanese track thing. Oh, nice. There it is. Yeah, so I think that's like a really cool, like nerdy Japanese car guy thing. Yeah. It's like they so super olens is like this spec which is um basically made by the shop called es azure in yeah. shizuoka 
and they have basically taken the Olin's valving the original one and revalved it with like 20 years of like development on their end that's so cool and so it feels so 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 good now it just feels good yeah it feels amazing oh even with like a, it's like 14 in front and top and back oh it's pretty stiff but it doesn't feel stiff like yeah. somehow with the revalving it feels just right yes. this is how you drive around in tokyo with a lowered car yes. lowered race car that is so cool and it's super fast, dude it's right? so high too yeah, yeah. you can yeah. get anywhere yep yep monster truck status right now we could go off a rally with this <laughs> so right. that's it oh my gosh Abel, that is so cool Abel, what do you think about the the r2 hood so i actually think you should leave it like this so it's very clear that it's dry carbon yeah because if you clear coat it it's almost like you're not sure if it's a wet carbon if it's dry carbon but like this it's like it's obviously dry carbon it's just so good can our make, cars do look very i know can it make, can it make sound? yeah oh it's the carbon sound man carbon sound. Our, our cars do look good together because albo has his carbon hood and then my carbon hood the cars just look so good together man it does, always it does. Quick gas station pump stop is over. We're filled up and ready to get some dinner. Actually, our first fill up of the entire trip. Abu and I are gonna cruise to Shibuya and we're gonna meet up with Yushi, then we're gonna have dinner. That was Shibuya Crossing. It never gets old driving through Shibuya Crossing. It's crazy. Abel, this will never get old. Dude, driving through Shibuya Crossing in Shinjuku, and it's just, it's crazy. We are heading to, over here, Kintan. And Kintan is this kind of fancy Korean barbecue, or yakiniku, you call it here in Japan. Uh, yakiniku place. Okay. Yes, seven floor. Can I get some good meats tonight? Some the good stuff. Yushi, come here, man. How are you? What's Good. Up, What's up, bro? What's up, dude? We're basically going to the pot shop in Yeah. Yeah, it's going to the pot expensive meats. Would you have that actually pop up? I don't know flavor. I think we got it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Well, um, another very late night. Oh, thought it was gonna be an early one tonight. Nope, just seems like uh, whenever I come to Japan, it's always a past midnight curfew, which for good reason, it's always a good time. And it really seems like you guys are enjoying the longer videos. So we're gonna keep going with it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the past couple of episodes. If you guys haven't seen the first episode of the Japan series for this trip, definitely go check it out. But I hope you guys are stoked on the r hood. I love it. And let me know what you guys think about painting the hood or if we should leave it or if we should clear it. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap today's video up. We actually have another early morning tomorrow because we're going to Tokyo Auto Salon and we're gonna have a very very busy day tomorrow 
auto salon, Porsche Experience Center, car meet at night. It's gonna be a crazy day and I gotta get some rest. So if you guys have not already, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We are literally this close to 700K. I think it's gonna happen when we're in Japan, which would be insane. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do that and leave me a comment down below on what you guys think about the hood. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.